So we've been learning about the general term formula for our binomial expansion. So we can just zoom in on one particular term. And in example four, we looked at situations where we're looking for uh, the coefficient of a particular uh, variable term. Uh, this example here is exactly the same uh, format, exactly the same strategy. It just reads slightly different. It says find the constant term in the expansions of uh, and we've known from when we were doing our full expansions that sometimes in the middle of the expansion there is a term without uh, an x or a variable beside it there's just a constant term what we're really just doing in this question is we're going to try and find that now to be a constant term it means that we're really looking for if we have x terms we're looking for uh, a value of a, well, a power of x that is 0. x to the power of 0 is 1. So whatever the variables are, we're looking for a power of 0. So we're going to approach it in exactly the same way. This example, 3x plus 1 over x to the power of 12. We can start off by assembling our general term rule, which is n choose r, x to the n minus r, y to the r. n is 12, so we could say that we've got 12, choose r. Our first term is 3x, so it becomes 3x to the power of 12 minus r. Our second term is plus positive 1 over x. Uh, I'm going to write that already. I could write it as 1 over x. I'm going to write it as x to the power of negative 1 to the power of r, because I know I'm going to be combining these indices in a short time. Uh, next step, we have our 3 and our x in our, our this bracket, so we're going to split them up as we have done already. The 3 becomes 3 to the power 12 minus r, and x to the power 12 minus r. And I'm going to multiply out that, the second bracket, x to the power negative 1 raised to the power r, multiply the two powers together, and get x to the power negative r. So we've got the first two terms are our numerical coefficients, and then we've got these terms in x, which we can combine to give us. Remember, we're multiplying x to the power of 12 minus r multiplied by x to the negative r. We're going to add those two expressions together. And so that becomes 12 minus r, subtract another r, becomes 12 minus 2 r. So we would have done that in the previous examples, and we would have then connected that with a particular uh, x term that we're looking for. So this, in this case here, we're looking for a constant term, and what we're really looking for is therefore a power of x, which is 0. So we can say for constant term, because we don't have an x term to refer to, we could, it's sometimes called the term independent of x. It's the same thing for the constant term. Uh, again, we're going to make an equation. Let's be proper about it. We've got 12 minus 2r, and we want to make that 0. So we just write down 12 minus 2r equals 0. Uh, we can solve that to say that 2r must be 12, and therefore r is 6. And if we want to uh, assemble the, the term, we, um, perhaps we don't need to, but if r is 6, it means that the seventh term is 12 choose 7. No, sorry, 12 choose 6. So that's just r multiplied by, what do we have here, 3 to the power of 12 minus r. So we've got 3, 12 minus uh, 6 is 6. And we've got x to the power 0 there. Uh, that obviously cancels out to 1, and 12 choose 6, that works out as 924. 3 to the power of 6, 729, which means that our total, therefore, is 673,596. 
So we've worked out that. We've got no x term after it. So in some ways, we don't need to rewrite uh, the uh, the coefficient of because there isn't an x term. So maybe we could just write here constant term is 673,596.